Hi, everyone. My name is Kendra Ellertson. I'm an application scientist here at CID Bioscience, and I'm going to be walking you through our RootSnap root analysis software in a three-part training video series. So the first part of this series is going to be how to set up your project and import pictures and get yourself ready to start tracing out your root systems. The second part of this series is going to be how to actually trace out your roots and how to use a bunch of the different tools um, in this software. And the third part of the series is going to be a case study. Um, it's going to be a time series case study where I show you how to map out root growth and die back over time and then how to actually um, see the data output from your project. So we're going to start by um, just giving you a little bit of a rundown of how the software works. Um, so the software has this kind of project open template for you to import your pictures um, and a bunch of tools on the top here. And then the normal file um, and edit menu where you can save your projects and import pictures, things like that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, label your tubes and your ses sessions. So depending on how many tubes you have in your soil, you'll label those accordingly here. Um, and you can just press this plus button to add more tubes to your project. So for each tube, you could have um, only one picture or you could have taken multiple pictures per tube. So that's what these sessions are. So for each session, you could have multiple windows for all the pictures um, that you took in that tube during that one time point. And then to add a new session, you just again click this plus button um, and it will create another session for you um, so you can add pictures from that same tube um, from a different a different time if you need. So we'll go back to session one and I'll leave this as tube one for right now. And there's two ways you can start to import pictures. The first way is you can click file and import the pictures using the import button here or you can click directly on the window um, the rectangular window down here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to select my first image, click open. And now I see that picture in my uh, project window. I'm going to go ahead and add another picture just to show you what that would look like. So it's going to import directly below that first project. And I'm just using the scroll button on my mouse to scroll in and out and zoom in and out of that picture. So before you start tracing any roots, you want to make sure that your pictures are aligned properly, rotated the correct direction, um, and the contrast between the soil and roots is really clear. So to see the details of the images that you've imported, you can right click on that um, image in that window box and click image details. And that's where this image details panel will come up. And here you can change the time and date that the image was um, scanned at. You have this little drop down calendar to choose that date and time. And then once you start drawing out your roots, this is where you can see some overall statistics for just that singular picture. If you do need to rotate your picture, unfortunately, right now you have to do that before they're inputted into the software, um, just as an FYI. So first thing I like to do is change my image brightness. So I'm going to click this image brightness tool up here and this little pop up comes up. You have five screens on this pop up that show you a different um, image brightness value that you can choose or you can use the slider at the bottom to um, adjust the brightness. And I'm just going to make sure that I can see a really good contrast between root and soil. I like this one down here, so I'm going to click that and apply it. And I'm going to do the same thing for my other image as well. Just going to change the brightness um, so I have a really good contrast between that soil and root so I don't have, it makes it a lot easier for me to trace them out. I'm also going to change the contrast. 
looks good. I'm gonna apply that and do it to both pictures. You also have the option to change the image gamma. I'm gonna keep both of these pictures how they are. So now um, your project is all set up and you're ready to start tracing out roots. If you haven't already, make sure to save your project, um, name it and put it in a place where you can easily find it later. And look out for my next video on how to trace out your root systems and how to use the tools of this software. See you in the next video.